Hello guys, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful Twin Flame reading. It's Saturday the 22nd of October 2022, so I hope you're having a lovely weekend. And if you haven't already, the Twin Flame Journey update is up. It went up this morning. Um, so I'm going to start with the Divine Masculines to see what their current energy is, how they're feeling, what they're experiencing today. Then I'll go on to get some communication from the Divine Masculines True Self and then I'm going to go on to the Divine Feminines to see what the Divine Feminines are experiencing, what they're working through and some support and guidance as well. Um, so I do hope you are well guys and that you're trusting and believing in what you already know. So I'm going to bring in the Angel Answers to start the reading to see what's going on with the Divine Masculines. Thank you to all of you for the love and support that you give me. I'm so very grateful to each one of you. You make me smile so much. Um, and if any of you guys would like an extra support, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. And I'm doing a really good off phone sessions at the moment for the months of October, November and December for the rest of this year. And if you are new to my channel, I, I do use the labels Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, because that's our channel. Please don't be offended. Just put it into your situation, how it resonates with you. I do realise it's just energy. So what's going on today with the Divine Masculines? What's their current energy? What they're working through? What they're feeling today? Nice, clear message, please. Let's see. A year from now, a year from now, the Divine Masculines are going to be, you know, everything's going to have come together and they're going to feel as if they've got the world at their feet. And we've got the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine sitting there on the throne. <laughs> um, they're together, working through things together and everything. The Divine Masculines are working through now in this preparation. It's all going to come together a year from now. Um, so let's see what's at the bottom of the deck as well. Take action. Yeah, and they're taking action to make this happen as well. So next I'm going to be using the Enchanted Map, this beautiful deck, to see what's coming through. This is about the Divine Masculines as well holding this vision. They know exactly where they want to be in the year from now. And they're, you know, they're doing what it takes to be able to get to that place of, you know, this freedom and living the life of their dreams and desires. All the preparation, all the plans, do it does involve you, Divine Feminines, because they're choosing themselves. So what else is going on with the Divine Muskins today? How they're feeling, what they're experiencing right now in this moment. A nice clear message. Wishing well, yeah. <laughs> And it's number 48, which adds up to 12. And we've got four, which is building on solid foundation. Eight is infinity, abundance. And 12 adds up to three as well, which is faith. They do have faith in this bright future because they're trusting that knowing within themselves. They're trusting their intuition. And they have this knowing that everything is going to be so much better in a year's time they're confident and comfortable with this now and they're wishing well <laughs> they're wishing well from a place of love and they're pl planting the seed it's coming from a place of stability it's so solid because it's coming from a place of love and they're wishing everybody well that is around them they're feeling good about themselves and they're attracting so much abundance to themselves because they've changed their perception about love, about life. And at the bottom of the deck is spirit of place. And it's number four again, guys. So they found that special place with the spirit of place within themselves. They have been so deep. And to get to that place, to be in that place, to, you know, really be in tune with themselves, they could be going out into nature, they could be going to a special place. But they, so, they feel so connected with God, with the universe, with the higher power, with the angels. And it brings in this stability. 
makes them feel confident, comfortable. That's where they get their strength from, within. And that is their main focus, is to have stability in their life. For a year from now, to have their dreams and desires in the physical, in the 3D, to be beside their divine feminine. And they're so sure of this because of how they feel about themselves, because they still found that special place within, that light, that love within them, which is bringing stability. And they're building and building and wishing well. Because they're following you through with their heart's desires. With the love in their heart. They're allowing themselves to feel and it is attracting their dreams and desires in. Things are being shown to the Divine Masculine. They are being so showered with abundance. So they are working with God. Um, so very, you know, awareness. They are so conscious. And however it seems to you, it may seem as if nothing is changing. So much is changing because they are so aware. And they're working through things just the same as you're working through things. They have their ups and the downs and they have to work through stormy times, these intense energies. But they have the awareness about you know, to, what to do in those times when it feels challenging by going somewhere that's peaceful, where they feel as if they're really connected in tune with themselves, where they can listen to their intuition, where they can connect with God. So next I'm going to use the Daily Guidance Oracle to see what's going to come through for the Divine Masculines. And then I'll go on to the communication, but beautiful. <clears throat> what is it that the Divine Masculines are working through? What's their energy? How are they feeling? What they're experiencing today? Nice, clear message. Confidence. Stability is what I'm getting from this so far. What else is it we need to know about the Divine Musclings? Nice, clear message. Trustworthy guidance. Yeah, they're getting so much support and guidance. You, you've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it, knowing that, that we are with you every step of the way. Yeah, ask for your, ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. So, because they're more comfortable with themselves, confident, they're opening up. Their heart chakra is opening up, which is bringing in new opportunities, new ideas, and you know they're trusting these ideas now because they're feeling the support because they've been shown that it's okay for them to go forwards to go for their dreams and desires hmm. and they're, they're, they're gonna they're gonna be so protected taking the actions that they need to take to follow through with everything that they want to receive and giving receiving which is all about balance bringing balance into their life giving to themselves this unconditional love is showing that they're opening up to receive so much abundance. And abundance com covers everything. It's just not it's not always about money, it's about having these epiphany moments, having these new ideas. And then we pick up momentum and then we get bring more of ideas and more solutions and you know how to deal with things, how to take things further. But it all starts with the self. So they are trusting this guidance and it's showing that they're open to receive this love and support from higher power and they are so in tune and so connected with God. And that's why it is solid. Because they don't feel as if they're doing everything on their own. Yes, at times they feel alone. They feel as if they're different from anybody else and they don't belong. But they're listening to the truth. They're learning more and more to remain in their truth, being the love that they are, their authentic self, because they found that special place within themselves. Hmm. 
So that's beautiful, isn't it? So let's see what the communication is. So I'm going to use the Dark Truths from book Beautiful Liz from Guided by Angels to get some messages because so we can pick up the energy through the communication as well, what they're working through, what's going on today as well. But it's, it's like they look that they are, you know, they're not overwhelming themselves by thinking about the future too much because that brings in anxiety. But they're planning, they're thinking ahead how they're going to want how they want to live their life from a year from now, how they want things to be different, and they're believing and trusting in that. And you know, by what else is coming through, they're doing everything to you know go into nature, to be quiet, to be in the present moment as well, to stay connected. So, again, this is showing you know really good balance. And when we have balance, everything does flow. So everything is falling into place for the Divine Muslims. What is it they'd love to share and express to the Divine Feminines right now in this moment from their true self? I'm grateful, yeah. So they're so grateful. And that's why they're, they're attracting so much more abundance to them because they're in this vibration of gratitude. <sighs> I can do anything with the power of your love. You give me the strength and the confidence to be me. And that's because they're connected with their true self. And that's where you are when they're in their truth. And they're so grateful for this love that they feel because it does motivate them. It does give them the drive to, to make plans and think ahead and go for their dreams and desires. I'm frustrated. Please don't pay attention to my moods. I allow physical world affect the sorry. I allow my physical world to affect me more than it should. I get frustrated at my life and I know it needs to change. I'm working on this. So if they do become, become, you know, they come across, sorry, as if they're a bit moody at times because they have got so much going on. They're, they're, they're preparing, they're planning, they're working through things. So don't be offended by it. And they are learning to manage this, to have this balance in their life. And they're sharing that they're working on this. And we know that they're working on this by everything that's come through in this energy today. Thank you. There you go. So they're so grateful today. Thank you for being my best friend. Even when I've pushed you away, nobody knows me like you do. Yeah, nobody understands and nobody lo knows them like you do. And that's because you're one. And they're so grateful for this love and they're so grateful for you. And you are best friends and we have to be best friends to be able to build on anything else. We have to start with this friendship. It's so important. I know so many of you get really annoyed thinking, well, I don't want to just be the best friend. You're everything to each other. And this friendship is important and they're so grateful for you. So beautiful energy to be in the vibration of gratitude. I'm insecure. You treat me better than I've ever been treated. There you go. That's why they're so grateful. That's why it's so hard for them at times to accept this love, to know that they're good enough. Because they've never been loved like this before. No one's ever given them love the way you give them love and attention and praise and all of those things. So it's, it frightens the divine masculines because they think, how am I ever you know, going to be good enough for this person? It does make them insecure. You treat me better than I've ever been treated and I know that you can give me everything. Yeah, I want that, but I still struggle with my fears, mainly about not being good enough for you or being enough for you. It's my own insecurity that's holding me back. There you go. That's how they truly feel. They get scared because they, you know, they're so used to and yourself, the ego, the ego to, to come in and say, oh, well, that's not going to work, is it? Because that would be taken away from them. This is too good to be true. How can they possibly love me? What is it about this person? Why are they so kind? Why they, do they treat me so well? And that's because of how they felt about themselves. And that is what they've been working through in this preparation. So beautiful, special messages from your Divine Mask in today. So... Um, next, I am going to use the Divine Muskin Secrets, my deck, to see what's coming through. So what else is it your Divine Muskin would love to share and express from their true self? And what is the secrets that haven't yet 
shared with you. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going to come through. I will do whatever it takes so that I can be with you again. And they are. And you're going to be sitting beside each other from a year from now. In God's timing, remember, as well. Hmm. If this is resonating with you. I'm overcoming my fears. Yeah, I'm overcoming my fears that I'm not good enough. How I feel about myself. I'm working through these. The love I feel for you is unexplainable. Which goes with everything that I've just said. They can't put into words how much they love you. It's unexplainable when you know that yourself. You can't describe it to anybody. It's so different. <laughs> um, and at the bottom of the deck is... And, that, and that's why they just think, oh my goodness, how is this happening to me? Why is this person loving me so much? What is it about me? Especially with some of the behaviour at times. Yeah, I'm sorry I lied to you and, th and this caused you so much pain. And they think, well, I've caused, them, I've caused them so much pain. I've lied to them. I've done this, I've done that. Whatever your situation is... And they still carry on loving me. They've treated me so well. Huh. What have I done to deserve this love? And this love I feel for my divine feminine, I can't explain it. So very, you know, heartfelt messages from your divine masculine today. Very deep. So let's see what's going on with you divine feminines today. To see how you're feeling, what you're experiencing and some support and guidance for you as well so i'm going to use the actual enchanted map again and i'm going to just get a couple of cards for you divine feminines so what is it the divine feminines are working through what's their current energy how they're feeling what they're experiencing today and what is the support and the guidance of how the divine feminines are feeling today as well let's see what's going to come through nice clear message please wizard of awareness and it's number three faith <laughs> so you could be feeling this awareness today this awareness or this is about a message for you to be so aware to actually you know silence that chatter and allow things, you know, this downloads of information, the epiphanies, the deeper understanding of what this journey is about. Open up to that. Because you are a wizard. You have so much sacred knowledge. But you've got to open up to this. So have the, be awake for this awareness. Things that are going on around you. Absorb it all. Be alert because it is all here to help you. Um, and, be, you know, with faith, have faith. Have faith that you are amazing, that you are this wizard as well. How clever you are. Because <laughs> we do we do forget that about ourselves. And number 15, one ring circus. And we've got this beautiful elephant as well. And that, that adds up to six, which is... Seeing through the illusion, seeing through the pain and to get to this place of peace and harmony. One is alignment, five is movement and change. And the bottom of the deck is protecting treasure. And that adds up to 12 as well. And we've got three coming through and nine near end of a cycle completion. And again, 12 adds up to three, which is faith. I've never pulled this card before, one ring circus. So I'm actually going to read what it says in the guidebook. So I can give you a clearer message, what this energy is and what the message is. Um, protecting your treasure is about protecting yourself, protecting your energy, because you are the treasure. And this is about protecting your dreams and desires and things, keeping it to yourself. And, you know, you know the people that you can open up to. You know those people when you're trusting yourself, where you can open up to, where they're on the same wavelength as you. Um, like-minded people your soul tribe your soul family but you know don't open up to people that you know you know that are in that lower vibrational energy in the 3d that takes you away from your tr truth and take you away from your dreams and desires takes you out of that vibration of aligning with your soul and your dreams and desires so protect them 
and most importantly this is protecting your energy because you are the treasure because if you're not well you're not feeling good that changes everything that's going on around you and what you can cope with and you know everything you have to work through you are the main priority um, so protect yourself and put healthy boundaries in place and use discernment in your life so let's see what it says with ring one ring circus and it's 15 isn't it so let's see what page it comes up with so it's page 30 again so we've got a lot of threes coming through in this reading independence is key now as you step into your journey today there you go independence to take this responsibility of yourself to rely on yourself and when you're relying on yourself trusting yourself you're showing god that you are worthy and you're having this relationship with god with higher power others may not have the vision or resources that you need recognize that all the wisdom you've acquired along the way makes a particular particularly com competent capable of moving forward with assurance self resilience is important another aspect to consider is creating and maintaining clear boundaries between you and another and i've just said that with protecting treasure how amazing is that <laughs> be discerning about your partnerships at this time yes when you know who you are and have a healthy sense of where you end up and others begin you are able to enter into the best kind of relationships and will attract people who mirror back your wholeness yes this is what this journey is about is having the relationship with yourself and your divine masculine just reflects back to you what's going on and when you're feeling whole when you're feeling complete when you're feeling good within yourself and that also means you trusting your intuition about the knowing that you have about your divine mask and who they are and the love you're trusting that love and you that knowing that you know that you're meant to be with this person that's showing wholeness this doesn't mean to say that you, you don't feel sad and you don't miss the physical person of course you miss the physical person but you can deal with that pain when you're in your truth because you know that you are going to be together that you're in this preparation and you're trusting and believing in what you already know and you're trusting the journey and you're trusting God. You're having this relationship with higher power. And that's what you're being open up, opened up to is God's love. Not to think that you've got to struggle through life on your own and that you haven't got support and guidance. It's there. You're just being opened up to it. Well, you're remembering who you truly are. You're removing layers and layers of conditioning, programming, of what you've believed about yourself and life. It's going and it does feel painful, it does feel lonely, it feels uncomfortable, but you're you're doing this and you do have the strength to do this. And it doesn't make sense and that's because the ego is trying to interfere and it causes this confusion. And you're saying goodbye to your old self. Independent relationships are always mutually supportive, stimulating and, trans and transformative. You can achieve anything at this time. Yes. So this is about you understanding, um, like everything I've just said, understanding that it is so important for you to have this relationship with yourself and to have this independence of you taking this, resp this responsibility of yourself. To f have this in a union have this inner peace within yourself and by doing that you're going to be having this amazing relationship with your divine masculine with your divine counterpart because of how you're feeling within yourself you're not going to be looking outside of you for your divine masculine to fix you or anybody else because you're you, you've got the tools you've got that understanding now how to cope with life you know how to get to that place you're learning to get to that place anyway to find that inner peace to bring balance with your higher self and your ego for you to keep moving forwards taking the lead going for your dreams and desires with god the universe the angels by your side with you trusting that knowing that love that you everything is working out and you're not holding on to timing you're not going on about you know how's this going to happen whatever you know that it's going to happen so you're confident <laughs> 
So I feel safe with being on your own at the moment. And at times we do get tempted to, you know, go back into old ways or meet up with this person or that person. And then it just brings us back down into this low vibration. It makes us feel confused about our journey. Know that this time that if you learning about independence, you're being so protected and you're not lonely because you're receiving this love from God from higher power. <laughs> Can you believe it, guys? And I said about protecting <laughs> your treasure and protecting you. You are the treasure. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me today for this wonderful Twin Flame reading. So on point. <laughs> I really enjoyed doing it. And thank you to all of you for the love and support that you give me. I am so very grateful for each one of you. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow and I'm sending you all so much love, my support, my strength and light and I love you all so very much. See ya! Oh, that's your soul, say